And we're back. And Patty's not in the screen yet. She's uh. Well, you don't have it. You just... Well, I got it set up for what we're doing. Try and get me off the camera. No, all the not. Time. So, all right. So we've got a special treat. I hope it's a treat for uh for you guys tonight. Y'all know. You remember Patty has kicked around the idea of doing a uh, homestead haircut series of videos to teach you how to cut hair on the homestead. You too can be a barber. You can cut your family's hair. And you don't need one of them flow bees. <laughs> Let's see who remembers that. Uh, who remembers a flow bee? You know, it was a built-in hair cutter with in the you put it on the end of a vacuum cleaner or something and it would Oh yeah, yeah. It cut that. your hair at the same length and suck oh, it into right. the into the uh, vacuum cleaner tube at the same time but you don't need one of those you can do it with clippers and scissors and whatever else right mm -hmm. all right so you ready yeah. Are you, do you I want think to... we're gonna wait a few minutes just, let's wait a few minutes let's talk about some other stuff and then oh to give people on, time give to get people on, time to get on yeah. or give to people time to join so we, we've got like 18 or 19 uh yeah, vacuum hair cutter, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But they do actually make some clippers like the ones that I have that has some kind of vacuum attachment to it and it, it really does work pretty good. Does it really? Yeah, I mean it doesn't pull your hair, it, it, it vacuums up the cut hair. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vacuums up the cut hair. Well, I don't um, have a whole lot of pictures, so the only ones I got well, is this stuff right here. I just want to tell them that we had a, some of our people wish Mama happy birthday. They saw we had her birthday party yesterday. And her birthday is actually tomorrow, so we had her a little birthday party. That's my mama. I don't think she's ever anybody's ever seen her. Well, I mean, yeah, unless they're on our Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. Mama turns 94 tomorrow, and she <laughs> was very tired. Uh, yeah, her name is Mama Fat. Um, that You've got came, to tell that story. Yeah, that came from my niece Jamie. She's my niece that's 10 years younger than me, Julie's daughter. Um, she had a Mama Blunky, a Mamu, and Mama McCullough on her daddy's side, and just Mama on, you know, our side. And she asked Mama one day, she said, Mama, who are you? Mama, who? You know, because everybody else, because they always said Mama Blunky or Mama Mamu or Mama McCullough. And uh, she said, Mama said, I'm Mama Fat. So anyway, it stuck. And so. All over Louisiana, uh, just, you know, people call her Mama Fat, you know. So not just yeah. her grandkids, but Tommy calls her Mama. That's what he calls her. Mama Fat, or Ma Fat. Yep. And uh, she uh, she signed the Christmas cards every year for the kids. Fat. Fat. Just signed it Fat. I mean, yep. that was her name, Mama yep. Fat, you know. Yep. And so I know it sounds like it's disrespectful or anything like that, but. But there was one person that refused to call her that and forbid his kids from calling her that. Do you remember who that was? No. Greg Allen. Really? Yes, he refused to call Mama Mama Fat and told his kids they better not call her Mama Fat. I did not so. know that. Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't know that. Greg was a councilman in the city of Baker yeah. for yeah. for a long time. And uh, but um, I did not know that. But, you know, Mama, you know, she, so she's got three daughters, you know, and the uh, grandkids played ball, and so Mama never missed a ball game. She yeah. loved to go to the ball games. And so, you know, all the different kids at the ballpark knew her too, so I mean, that's what everybody called her, was Mama Fat. <laughs> so, yeah, so, it was really neat. But we had a good day. You wanna show the rest of the pictures from the birthday? Yeah, I just I just took, I, I didn't download them all. I just yeah. downloaded a couple. The, uh... This is uh, me and Mama and my two sisters and that's Evie's husband, that's not Tommy, and then there's Tommy, so yeah. that's us, and then this is everybody that got to come to the party, so uh, her, she's, she does have a great-great-granddaughter, and she wasn't there, but uh, there's a great, there's some great-grandkids grand, there, so anyway, yeah. But uh, that's the crew that was there. We were missing quite a few. Um, of course, Carly, course, Cameron wasn't there. Carly yeah. Ann hadn't gotten there yet. Well, yeah, Carly Ann had to work, and um, she wasn't there. And then um, my nephew, my older sister's son, Rusty, him and his wife and his oldest son, well, his only son, uh, and his uh, girlfriend didn't get to come. So, but we had a quite, quite a good gathering. Yeah, and it was, nice. it was a nice visit. We mm -hmm. had... Uh, 
a downpour of rain right in the middle of it. But yeah. the, the, the little kids got to spend a lot of time. Oh, Tomas was so excited because he had some cousins, some kids to play with, you know. So they, my uh, nephew Stephen has three kids that are, uh, well, one's younger than Tomas, one's, uh, and the other two are older. But they all played great together. They rebuilt Tomas's teepee. Yeah. So they worked on that. So they had a big had time. Had a great time just and, exploring the farm. And I guess Tomas showed them around. Yeah. And, I don't but, know what happened to my laptop right there. Look at that. Mm, he's got a dent in his laptop. But um, anyway, he, uh, you know, it was really, it was really neat um, that my my nephew's kids got to come. They're they're my great my great niece and great nephews um, because you know they don't get to be out in the country that much. They live in the city. You know, he's a youth minister, so and they go to school, so. You know they don't get to be out in the country that much and so they just love it here so they just love it but he would not let them go barefooted <laughs> i know he wouldn't let them go barefooted and it's sort of raining and i told him i said stephen i i, I told it was stephen and katie i said y'all need to let them go out and play it wasn't thundering it wasn't lightning i said just let them go play y'all can run them through the bathtub on the way home and stephen was like well that's the only pair of shoes they have i said well let, let them go them back them off. Let them, but they wouldn't they wouldn't let them go get muddy at all so anyway so i said stephen come on now they're at the thanks farm. chris we'll see you later thanks for stopping so, by anyway uh our kids, so. you know, they, our, our, you had to use staple guns or duct tape to keep feet on, uh, shoes on their feet when yeah. they grew up. And also, we've took Ford been... to church barefooted before. Yeah, thinking he, of course, would put his <laughs> shoes on, but we get to church and there's no shoes for Corey. But um, <coughs> anyway, um, my kid, if it would have been my kids, I would have been having to tell them, you get in the house and stay out of that rain because they'd have been, they wouldn't have asked, they'd have been in it, you know, they'd have been having a good time, so. P.S. Anyway. said, Mama looks young. Yeah, she mm -hmm. looks pretty good, yeah. you know, and she, she said, it was a long day for her. It was, she was so tired. And she was she very tired. Admit, she wouldn't admit she was tired though, but boy, you could tell she was tired. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, she's, she's been doing good lately, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, she's uh, had a good couple so. of weeks. She's got longevity genes. I know we've you've, you've heard us mention it before, but her dad uh, lived to be 106. Six. 106. He was a few months shy of 107. He was a few months shy of 107, and he didn't get old till he got 100. You know, I mean. Well, yeah, he was still. He still at the nursing home had him some tomato plants growing. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, he was growing tomato plants. Uh, when I first met him, when Patty and I were you know serious enough about our dating that it was time for me to meet Papa Mr. Rowe. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody called him, Papa Mr. Rowe. And uh, we drove down to, he was 89 years old, he was about to turn 90. And when we, and he still had his own house, he was living by himself. He still tended, driving. Still driving. That time. Tended a, a garden at his house, tended a, a larger garden down the street in an empty lot. And when we drove up to this 89-year-old man's house, he laid an ax down. He had been, uh, I don't know if a tree fell or he had it cut down. Yeah, but I think they it cut it. It was a big old tree that big around. Well, you know, it was that, a pecan tree, I think. I don't know, but it was huge, and it was right on the corner of his house, if I remember correctly, or well, near the corner. Well, of that house. was his work shed back there, but uh, yeah. I mean, oh, was, the, the shed, okay. Was like it was, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I guess he had it cut down. And when we drove up, he laid the axe down he'd been out there splitting wood he was that big around i mean what you around when he got on mama's roof and oh absolutely yeah yeah he was uh, he was over 90 years old up on the roof uh, in louisiana i don't know if y'all where, where y'all <laughs> yeah, live not, I don't know. they have these these turbans the they look like a jiffy pop popcorn thing yeah you know <laughs> and they spin to allow when, when the heat comes out of the attic hot air rises out of the attic and it causes them to spin. Mm -hmm. Well, in the wintertime, a lot of times people would get up there with garbage bags and cover them up and tape them down. Yeah, for the winter, for the, where the cold air won't get in. Where the cold in. air won't get in and kind of hold the heat in they the house. Pipes, they have water pipes in the attic. Yeah, too. some houses have water pipes yeah. in the attic uh, down here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he, he, he was up on that roof in his 90s mm -hmm. doing that stuff. And uh, he... Uh, I think one of the reasons, you know, obviously one of the reasons he lived so long because he ate lard and he never <laughs> smoked or drank, you know, but he ate That's what real they tell food people when they said, how, how did you live so, how, how come you let, live, have lived so long? He said, because I never smoked or drank. Yeah. yeah. That's what he said. But he also <laughs> ate 
stuff that you know people ate a hundred years ago before doctors started telling people stupid things about healthy real food but also I think is because he had a, a system of uh, he would he was an electrician by trade he was he was function he was illiterate he never really learned how to read or write he could recognize his children's names yeah he could write his kids names. write his kids and, names oh. but you know and he had his own method of mathematics and he retired from Exxon as a electrical supervisor you know with with no education and all that and fourth grade education fourth grade education and and but it, he knew how to cipher stuff but anyway I remember him in his 90s working on receptacles in the wall you know what rewiring receptacles and stuff never turn a breaker off He'd be down there working, you hear him going, uh, uh, <laughs> electricity just popping the snot out of him. Yeah, yeah. Mama tells a story. One time he was up on a ladder working on a light, and uh, he was like, Eunice, get that harsh fly off my back. It was, it was the electricity, so. Yeah, so he was up there just kind of doing like, like he had something biting him on his shoulder and electricity jumping out of his shoulder blade or something. And I said, well, maybe that's why, maybe every now and then I need to, Lick my finger and stick it in a light socket. No, you know, uh, no I do not advise that. <laughs> no, but kids don't try this at home. <laughs> but all anyway, right. so is that all the uh, stuff we want? That's to talk all the about stuff right we got now? to show. Okay, so now we're gonna do Tommy's hair. How long do you reckon it's gonna take you to cut my hair? Forty-five minutes? Probably, Probably not. not, huh? Well, it may take a little while because I'm gonna be talking. So. All right. Well, let's go ahead and remind people of this. That uh, I hope you're gonna be there. In October, right around the corner, uh, October the 14th in Warrington, Virginia, the home, the very first Homesteaders of America conference. The big name folks there. I don't know how we ended up amongst them, but Joel Salatin and Lisa Steele and uh, Carla Emery, Doug and Stacy. Uh, this it's just going to be amazing, and uh, we can't wait. It's right around the corner, and I'm working on my outline right now. I'm going to be talking about when trauma strikes, surviving the aftermath of a critical incident, because critical incidents happen to everybody, not just law enforcement people uh, or military. It can happen anywhere, anytime. So, uh, all right, you ready? I am, and I want to say I'm so getting so excited about the conference, but not just about getting to see all these great speakers, but also to get to meet some of y'all in person. Yeah. Some of y'all are coming, so I'm excited yeah. about that. So, let's tell you, we, let, let's, we need to start saying this every week until the conference. Same thing we said uh, prior to the uh, Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. When you come up to oh, yeah. us, tell us what your YouTube name is, <laughs> or your Facebook name, or whatever. Uh, so we can, you know, because we don't know what you look like. You know what we look like, but you, we don't know what you look like. So make sure you tell us who you, you what's your YouTube name when you come up uh, and say hey. And we hope you will come up and say hey. And yes, we've already got yes. a list of necks that we need to hug. Yes. And uh, it's going to be fun. All look, right. Look, um, the bee lady is going to be there. Great. Her husband grew up right around right there. Great. Um, and wait, wait, what was it? Uh, my mama says she's trying to be there. So that's great. That's great. That's going to be awesome. So let me jump on. Okay. Let's see. There's Linda Ennis. Hey, Tom Rio. Charlie Lockwood. Hey, Susan. My oldest neighbor, Susan. I'm not calling you Siri. It popped up. Yeah, Siri, Siri popped, popped up. up like I was talking. All right, let me about. start getting my stuff. You ready. start getting your well, stuff I need ready. Well, I need to tell them, though. First off, if you wear glasses, wear them while you're cutting hair. Yeah. That's important. But if you wear glasses, take them off while you're getting your hair cut. That's right. That's right. So I'm not going to be able to read comments or anything because I'm blind as a bat. Yeah, and that's what y'all, if y'all do say anything to us, I'll, we'll try and catch the comments. But um, make sure you put them in capital letters. So Yeah, I can't, anyway. and I can't see them. Okay, even capital letters ain't going to help me. Um, now wait, you gotta, I've got a top on now. I've got my comb, you gotta have a comb. And look, I go to Sally's some. I have a pair of expensive shears that I do use, that I did buy. Um, but you don't have to have expensive shears. You just may have to buy a pair every year or so. You know, if they get dull or whatever. These can be resharpened. But husbands, if you're gonna be the one cutting the hair, do not get your wife's fabric scissors. No. 
Don't cut anything but fabric with the fabric scissors. Good. His mama taught him well because she's a seamstress. Um, these what? are my clippers that I use. Um, these are um, more expensive clippers. You don't have to have expensive clippers. Um, but these are mine. I am a barber by trade, so, you know, I have you know, maybe some more expensive things than, I mean, you just don't have to buy the top of the line to be able to cut hair. I just don't want you to think that. Use the ones for pets. Go the ones, get the ones that they make for dogs. No. That don't work? Go buy them at Sally's. They have lesser expensive they ones. They might there. not know what Sally's or is. It's at Sally's. Walmart or any stores yeah. like that. Yeah, get anyway. the human kind. Anyway, for the clippers, uh, you know, I cut Tommy's hair pretty short. I, wear, I use guards and he... Not short as I want it, but... Yeah. Um, he wants me to start off with just the clippers, but I, it just makes me a little nervous. I'm scared I'll put lines in there. I think you ought but to try that tonight live for the first me. time. You keep interrupting Sorry. me. Sorry. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to go from short hair to long hair. Um, now you, could all, you could always just cut it the same length all over, and when he gets me to try something new, that's what he says. If it messes up, just cut it all off. So he's easy. I've been bald-headed before. I was yeah. bald headed for 20 years. So I have my little guards. I'm and, too fat to be bald headed now. You need to. Uh, Sorry. You need to uh, make sure that you get the guards that go with your clippers because they're not universal. So anyway, I get all that out ready. I'm going to need water because I cut the top of Tommy's hair with with uh, scissors, and so I like to uh, wet it. You don't have to. I'm going to get some water in that little spray bottle over there. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. But anyway, um, so, and I know uh, some friends came and ate lunch with us today, and uh, she cuts her boy's hair, you know, and everything. It's not, you know, if you have kids that are going to school and you've never done it before, maybe you want to do it in the summertime to where you can just buzz it all off, or just don't cut it real short. You can always bring them somewhere and get them to fix it if it gets a little messed up. Just the most important part is keeping these guards, and I hope I don't have to be tonight, on your clipper because like if you're cutting hair this is going to be can you see that guard this is going to be a little bit longer hair and if your guard were to come off and you accidentally cut with this that's going to be really short hair that's hard to fix so anyway um hey jan it's good to see you we're going to cut tommy's hair tonight live so anyway because i've been promising a uh, video and i haven't done it yet so anyway or we've talked about it anyway but um so uh, I also have a haircut and cape. You don't have to have that. You could use a towel or whatever. But, um, so. Okay. All right, you uh -oh. ready? Wait, I nearly dropped the camera. Uh-oh. That's Tommy doing that to y'all. So, okay. and I'll, I'll turn it. Where you want, how you want me facing the camera like yeah, this right now? Yeah, that's good right now. And see, look, uh, you just go around right here. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, but psych. I wanted to show y'all too um, a little uh, something you can do to clean up a haircut. You see, Tommy needs a haircut. I really don't want you facing the camera. I was doing you that for you little trick. Um, and you know, I, oh, you don't. You're not the best person for this because you've got such light hair. But anyway, it's gonna really look in. light with that black black thing. Would you want you want the camera up higher, pointing down? No, the camera's fine. You just need to look towards the kitchen. But what you I'm going to do? You need to turn me that way. Yeah. Okay. You're really you're making this hard on me. Then you adjust you the camera. Come, you got to come over here. You got to get away from the table. You you do the camera like it needs to. Okay. Camera's just, on you. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Um. All right, um, one thing I want to tell y'all is that this is not what you would do to start out your haircut. I'm going to do this because I'm going to show you how to clean up a haircut. Like, like how Tommy's hair, like if I just wanted to clean it up because it's over his ears, his neckline looks bad. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with this just to show you how a lot of times, you know, men get their hair cut, um, what every four to six weeks maybe you can go eight weeks but anyway um this can make your the man's haircut last a little bit longer what you'll want to do is you just come around here 
I just don't, I don't want to be in, where am I at? Oh, there I am over there. He's got so many things cut up. This is hard for me, y'all, because I'm trying not to get right in front of the camera where you can see. Um, but you would take this and you would trim up the sideburn like that. And you would just cut over the, cut, cut the hair off the ear. And I would do this wet if um, I wasn't fixing to use my clippers. But I'm fixing to use my clippers, so. And I would advise you to avoid cutting the ear. Yeah. And Patty's being real gentle because my Frankenstein ears still hurt. And with the ear, you just fold it backwards and comb the hair kind of towards the ear and down. And you could do this with the clippers, too. And it just and then you take your clippers and clip that off right there. So that's just the way you can clean up a haircut, and it makes it look fresh again. Just with the cleaning up around the edges. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the regular haircut. Where is my other guard? Did you do something with my guard? I haven't done anything with your guard. I have four. Do you need to move the computer where you can see what the screen is? No, or I guess I'm you can. Move you. How are you? Hi y'all. Did I put one on my thing? Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's my thing. That's the little bitty one, right? Yeah, I'm going to get the smallest one. Are you sure? Yeah, it's 1 16th. 1 16th is smaller than 1 8th, right? Yes. I wish you'd just do it with the bare thing, but... I'm not. That's another thing. When your wife's your hairdresser, you don't always get to choose what you want. All right, I'm going to start off on this side. But it's cheap. Yep. Um, and I do imaginary line. He likes it sharp pretty high up, so I go to about right here. And if you notice when I go up, I'm not going to keep riding my clipper up against his head. I'm going to, I'm going to pull out like this. What that does is that that's going to leave some longer hairs up here to blend it in. See yeah, I'm, 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 I'm rolling it out. Turn your head this way some. And I'm going to do that all the way around his head. I think I'll get a screen I just did. Okay, now I'm going and, and I would advise to Try not to cut their hair right after they've had a ball cap on because then you have this ridge going around here and it makes it look like there's a line and there's not. I haven't been wearing a You probably did. Well, you have it I at have all today? Have all today. Well, it must be from yesterday. All right, you can look this way. And I much prefer to cut hair outside because you can see it better, especially light colored hair, because you will get some skips sometimes. His hair grows this way, right here, so I'm just kind of coming at it that way. And I'm just going straight up and see, I'm not following his head around. I'm coming straight off like that. By combing it down like that, you're getting some of those loose hairs off of there, and you can see if you've missed any better. You want to turn the chair around this way? Well, my back to it? Yes. Yeah. You have hair everywhere. Okay, that's good. 
And his hair is really long, and we usually don't let it get this long. another turn and they can send me to this side. Like that or more? Yeah, that's good. Just like that. And I do find it easier to cut hair in front of a mirror because when you look at the mirror, you can definitely tell a lot easier um, if if it's even, I've had to go back and recut their hair and stuff like that. Because especially Corey, he'll say, "This is longer right here than it is over there," and all this because I didn't, my imaginary line didn't stay. So. And see, there's no reason to have to cut it around with scissors right here that much because I've cut it all off a bit. So. I'm look at it. Mm, pretty good. Okay. So that's your first cut going around. Now it's time. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to move in front of the camera. Now I'm going to start blending that together. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm gonna use my next size guard, which is a 1 8. And I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm not going to go up as high. I'm just going to start blending this in. And it don't look like a lot of hairs coming off. And you see I'm going straight up his head. Like that. I'm starting where I don't have hair. And you can, maybe you can see, if I comment forward, you can see it's starting to blend in now. Okay, Tommy, go ahead and turn a big turn. Okay. Yeah. If I were to follow it up here, it would look kind of like a bowl cut, you know? Like the bowl he got out. big guard. I guess I put it over there somewhere. Alright, now I'm going to a fourth of an inch guard. And I'm just going to keep going around. Blending it in. Just on the edges of it and it's the same process. Turn your head this way. He still leaves a little hair on top to fix. Hold that for me, please. I don't know what I, I put it in here. Now I'm going to my biggest guard, which is a half inch. Sorry, y'all. Getting great. 
And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just working on that line right there. Y'all remember to put your comments in capital letters or questions. That way I'm going to be able to look back through it and see it. Probably, probably when we get into the clippers, you might be able to I am. That's, that's, what that's, what that's what I was thinking too. Okay. I'm going to stop that right here. Well, you know, one thing I need to show the neckline, though. Turn with your back completely to the camera. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how well you can see his neckline back here. I'm going to go ahead and do this while I have the uh, while his hair is dry. You don't, I, I think they may make some clippers you can use on wet hair, but um, these are not, I guess I could, but I just prefer not to. Um, Let's see how if you can even see. I'm getting the well, light. The edges, well, my T edges are not working. Oh. So yeah, they have something called T edges that you can use to do this. That uh, but mine are not working. But anyway, you can kind of see the natural hairline, um, and that's why I'm going to come here and I'm going to meet right here. Tommy does have a scar right there, but it's still it's too high up to make that his neckline. So you can kind of see where it is. And then you can just go ahead and do this left-handed where maybe y'all can see. And I've cut it really short, so... It's not that much hair there. And always remember, you want to unbutton your cape and get there any hairs that are down there. Which Tommy does not have a real hairy neck. That's why I did it with the scissors yeah. on this side. Can I hurt you? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. No, I'm gonna do this like that. Okay, and now where I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim around his ear. Can you turn a little bit more? Like that. Um, I'm gonna trim around his ear. I, you know the other ear I did with scissors. And so this one, I'm gonna show you how I do it with my clippers. You see there's his line right there, but it's a little shaggy. I can take my, you can do this with scissors if you're uncomfortable. And I'm just going to follow it down, but I'm going to get those little hairs, which y'all probably can't see them because they're so light. Right there. Make sure he's clean around his ears. If there's any ear hairs, you get them at this time. Is that your bad ear? I'm being bad with? He's got a little bit of a hair right there. I'm going to cut it off. And you always check your eyebrows because I told him that's a sign of old age when you get long eyebrows, so you got to get that too. So... <laughs> right, baby? But I still love you. <laughs> you ain't sticking that thing up in my nose. No, I don't do noses. Alright, I'm gonna get a little I'm gonna get this a little bit closer right here. Now one time I have made a huge boo-boo on Tommy's hair. Um, it was when he was still in police work and we lived in Louisiana and I was so dog tired. And he wanted a haircut. And it was at night. I remember all the kids were in bed. He wanted a haircut. And I messed up. I don't know how I did it. But y'all saw how I just did like that right around there with the clippers? I went way up too high. And I'm telling you, he had big white walls way up to <laughs> here. And so, on one side. And so then I had to do make the other side match. And it was just, I was, it was not good. <laughs> Oh, I could have died. What I do? Just shave it? No, uh -uh. I made the other side match, and you just went around with white walls. So. All right. All right. So you gonna take a break and look at comments or questions? Yeah, and you can get your chair straight. You got a mess to clean up when we're done. Yeah, I do. All right. Let's look at some questions, and I'll finish cutting his hair. 
So that now he's got the good bowl cut going. Let's see. Yeah. We may not have any questions. I wish I had another. I still got a head full of hair, Susan. It's just you can't hardly see it. It's so white. Susan Van Norman, uh, Susan Mathis used to be next door neighbor. Oh. Uh, can't nobody see you. Oh, sorry y'all. Uh, let's see. Oh, Big Bear said he's next. Yeah, you need a haircut, Big Bear. <laughs> yeah, with garden shears. That big old thick mop you got. I'm trying to get back to where, oh, that's right. Jan had just jumped on whenever I started. Let's see. Uh, he's trying to find out where the comments need to be, or, or going back to. Uh, okay, and I'm just going to stop. Hey, the big ones, Tom so wants I mean, to know if you're going to wash my hair with ma uh, uh, tail and mane. Got news for you. That's what I use. That's for my the best. That's the best conditioner that there is. Yeah, the shampoo is very harsh. Be careful. Shampoo's with that. harsh, but the conditioner is awesome. Gosh, y'all been commenting a lot. When I have my beard, that the, I use that uh, mane and tail for uh, for my beard okay. conditioner. There's Gypsy. All right. Hey Sandra, Brad Pope. Hey Brad. Uh, oh, he's probably. Thank one. you, Linda. People that's just getting on is going to think you're having you're you're wearing odd clothes and your hair looks weird. <laughs> yeah. I've got uh, my black robe on, Brad. The ceremony is about to begin. Pia um, <laughs> says she cuts Craig's hair, so that's cool. Really? That's good. A lot of people, a lot of people do cut their hair at home. Um, and Deep South said you've got coarse hair, LOL. But he does. He does. So. Okay. Let's Who does? See. You do. I've got coarse hair. Yeah. Yeah, Susan. She's gonna she's gonna finish up with scissors. I don't know what that means. What's that? So she just figured the transition between the scissor the the clippers and the scissors colanders. Oh <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're deeper. Yeah. See, see, Beverly said I need duct tape where I can That's talk. Tim. Well, I meant Beverly Farm. Yeah. Tim Beverly. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. Okay. Okay. Stop. See, I'm easy to please. I'd be satisfied right now. Really? No. The Tim wants me to shave a ball. Don't don't encourage him. He would do it. That's my favorite haircut, man. Shoot. Just get up and go. Like I said, I had, you know, in, in law enforcement, most of my law enforcement career, I was, I buzzed it. A couple times I shaved it with a straight, a, a actual shaving cream, but I didn't like that. Uh, yeah. it, it was it made my head hot. It was weird. I think it's because my theory is that the that the pores closed up or something. But my head would sweat. I'd have sweat roll down my face. Well, and you uh, used to catch it, so. Well, I guess so. But it but I literally felt hotter with a totally slick head. So I did it. I think what twice maybe. Twice I tried. Well, too long. You need to get that picture and show them. The my basketball head picture? No, I ain't getting that picture. Where is it? I don't know. It's on my mama's refrigerator still, probably. Still. Even um, though she's dead. Deep she, Sal Deep Sal said you're gonna need some baby powder. He's gonna probably get a shower. Yeah, I'm gonna get a shower. And, and uh Tanya Turner said I'm cutting your wings off. <laughs> but uh Okay My theory is you know, so my favorite thing to do would be to take let me see the clippers. To take the clippers. Well, you can't run them through your hair. With no guard, just like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah, that's a triple off. That's the shortest guard thing they make with no guard. And so I would cut my hair with that and uh, just cut it all off. And that would be, so it would have just like a little more than stubble, I guess. But I guess it caught the air or kept the pores open or whatever. That, that was when my head was the coolest. And I don't mean cool like cool daddy o. I just mean coolest as in temperature wise. And uh, um, that was my favorite. Uh, hey, Kenny Bourgeois. Um, Keepers at Home was asking about the neck. Um, let me know. Put another comment and let me know if you saw that now. If that was if that's explained good enough, please. Yeah. If you have if you Ooh. still have questions about the neckline. Oh, I wonder if they know what ladybugs are. Ladybugs. I mean. Love, love bugs. bugs. Yeah, love bugs. I know Danny want to know what love bugs are. Yeah. Huh? I think that's what just flew at my nose. Big Bear, y'all have y'all have love bugs in Georgia? Uh, there'll be some jokes coming in the chat, but if you have love bugs, you know what we're talking about. They are a menace. And they're not so bad here. They're, they're terrible in Louisiana, but since Katrina, they've gotten worse and worse. 
up here this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Catherine says, any tips for extremely thin hair? My two-year-old's hair is as thin as chick's fluff. Um, well, girl or boy, I probably would let it grow long. And if it's a boy, do more like a little bowl cut um, until it thickens up because it probably will thicken up. Where are you going? I'll be back. No, 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 no. Not with that cape on. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going far. Yeah, no. Stop. Tommy, I'll be all right. you're getting hair everywhere. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Anyway, go get your picture. Take your cape off. Anyway, uh, so that's what I would do. I would just try and do an all one length hair cut right now, but I would think it's, uh, I would think it would, uh, start thickening up, so, um, let's see, thank y'all for the nice comments, too, uh, North Dakota Pink says, can you just stick with one number, yes, and, um, you know, I did really, really short, and if we were going to cut his hair extremely short on top, I could have just went really short, and I probably would have done that had I not been showing y'all because um, I would have, with my graduating and everything, yeah, you can. You can just use one side. You can use the bigger guard and just graduate it out. You can do it all the way up to here and graduate it just like I did by rolling it out like this. So, yeah, you, you don't have to keep changing guards. This is for just more, they're calling it a fade now, going from real short hair to longer hair. You know, like, cause it's not, he like, Tommy likes it short, short, short. But see, I graduated up to a little bit longer hair right here. I guess so, they used to call it a taper, huh? They used to call it a taper. They're calling it, uh. All right, we got like 18 minutes. Okay, well, I'm not, if you, but I'm trying to get through here. Okay, yeah, he was at home, saw it. I don't think so, Big Bear. I'll check to be sure, but I don't think so. I don't think LSU plays yep, they know about love Georgia us. this year. Unless we could end up in the SEC championship what game. What is that? I don't know. How do you say like, got to get like by Bama lady? first, huh? How do you say Oh, liver lady? Liber lady. Liber lady. Said that Liber she's cut her boy's hair for 23 years and her husband's for 28. You know, Corey went and got his hair cut by his friend, and that's the second time he's gotten a haircut. He's 20 uh, by somebody else. Who cut it? A girl that uh, went to Colin with him. Oh. But I don't mind. I don't right. mind at all, and he paid for it. So, yep, Tommy's cleaning the floor. He's doing that right now. Okay. Now, Tommy looks like me now. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh Jan, your hair's not quite that far. Oh, that's <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to cut the top, and I do it with scissors. Now you could take it, and you could um, you could actually use your bigger guard and just cut the top of it, however you want to do it, like that. But I'm going to cut it with uh, scissors. Because I like the I, the way that I like my hair. I like to be able to comb it a little still on the top. It's just yeah. you know kind of what I like. But if I can't have <laughs> it bald. Did you put That's new cold. water in this? Yes. Well, this you did it yourself. I know. I didn't think about putting warm water. <sighs> I can't. Oh, I hope I'm not getting our computers wet. I am. Oh my gosh. Better slow down. Okay. Mm. What? I it's cold. It? I feel like I'm doing the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> hey, now I look like the cool kids. Okay, now this is the hardest part of the haircut of, of, to me trying to show you how to do it. Um, you know, let's see. I might like can hold it if I'm facing this. No, 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 no. Just leave it there. I could do gonna... like this. Okay, well, okay. Let's see how that works. Okay, I comb all the hair forward. I'm getting my, um, how much, my, my uh, guide right here. And I'm going to take the hair down the middle of his head and I'm going to pull it up with my fingers. And that's where I'm going to decide how much I'm cutting off. Can you see right there? Right in the middle of his head. Right there. And I'm going to cut that off. Now see, you got to move the camera. Cause yeah, I probably need to have it over on this side. Yeah. And I'm going to do that all the way down towards his forehead. How's this for camera work, folks? <laughs> okay. Now, one thing I want to show you, we're getting close to where it's curving down. I'm going to continue to pick his hair up straight. 
okay? Because if I were to do it down, it would make this hair really, really short. And I'm gonna, I wanna uh, cut that with when I do his bangs. It's gonna cut some, but not a lot. I'm pulling my, hair, my fingers more straight instead of curving them down, okay? All right, now that's my first cut right in here. And, as I'm, and I'm just cutting this top part of his hair, okay? Put it in the front. When you say the top yeah. part, you mean like in between where the parts would be? Yeah, see where I'm parting it right here and right here, and that's the hair I'm cutting right here, okay? And so then I'm going to pick up the hair. I've cut the very middle of this, and now I've got, like, say, like three sections, one, two, and three. So I'm going to pick up the hair from the first section. Um, can you pull the, put the camera over here on this side first? Well, that's okay. All right, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'm picking up my cut hair right here, some of my cut hair in my fingers, and some of the longer hair that's not been cut. And I can see my, I can see my already cut hair, and I'm gonna slide my fingers up. That's what's telling me where to cut it. Oh. Okay, right there. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this next section. I can see my cut hair here, and I can see little cut hairs right there, all right? Well, I have to do this when I cut my hair. Cut your own hair? <laughs> yeah, show them how I cut my own hair. We can do that. I can hold a camera. Yep. Okay, now I've got that section. Now I'm gonna work on this one. I think you might wanna put the camera on the other side for this one. All right. I'm looking, I see, I'm seeing my cut piece, my... Sorry, y'all. I'm seeing my little cut, my short hairs right here. That's telling me where to cut, cut this hair right there. And like I said, you, Tommy's hair was so long, I could have cut his hair left it longer and then go back and cut it again. You don't have to cut it the length you want it the first time. You can practice if you have a willing person. Now you can check it by going back over your head, and you'll see if I messed up, and pulling it straight up like that. And see, this might be a tad bit long. I can cut that off. And then you're going to keep doing that. You can keep doing that all the way back. You can pull it up and see if it's straight. That means you've gotten both sides the same length, okay? Sometimes you might end up with a stray hair, and you just cut it off. And so see, pretty straight. Now, all right, pull the camera back, looking straight on, there you go. Now what we have is we have short hair here and short hair here, okay? Here's my blend, where we're gonna blend these two together, going from this longer hair to this short hair. And you're going to think of it as like turning a corner. This is a corner right here. And so when I pick up this hair, I can see my cut hair. And this is my long hair. And I'm going to graduate it. I'm just blending this in. And you're going to cut that off. And then you're going to pick up this next little section. And now you're going to have your cut hair and your clippered hair. You're just going to cut it right there. Okay? Now, if you're dealing with... Uh, what is gear? What gear? What kind of hair would you say Guillermo has? Um, our son-in-law is Colombian. No, we don't have fine hair. He has straight hair, kind of like how Oriental hair is. You know that straight, straight hair. You know that's not the best kind of hair to start practicing with. I'm doing the same thing going back, y'all. I'm going. I'm going to follow all the way around to the crown. I'm seeing my cut hair here. This is long hair. I'm going to cut it off, then I'm going to pick up my next little section right there, and there's my clippered hair, there's my cut hair, now it blends, okay? Um, anyway, Gamera has that straight, straight hair, almost like, you know, Asian type hair, um, and that hair is harder to cut because you can see every single cut that you make in it. So that's not the best hair to start out with, if you can help it. Uh, it'd be good to have practice with somebody else. But it can be done, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going all the way around Tommy's head, 
um, to to the crown. I'm gonna go. I actually go the way I do it is I go a little bit past my cr the crown. It's not too much light back there. Sorry. I'm just and I'm just I'm doing two strips. Now, if you didn't, if you wouldn't, if you would have maybe not clippered as high up as I did, you would do more cuts going down to meet your clipper area. And y'all, like I said, you don't have to do do it cut it so short. You know, I know how to do it, so I'm I feel comfortable. You know, going this short. You could do it not as not as short and go back and do it again or you know just not have a full haircut uh, you know and maybe have to cut it again in two weeks okay go back to the front tommy yeah i couldn't get the camera all the way back around there sorry now i'm going to do the same thing i'm careful with tommy he's kind of it's thinner right here receding he's receding just a tad bit so i'm not going to want to pull this way forward because i would cut that hair real short i'm going to pull it a little bit further back and see it's short here there's my short piece and i'm going down to my clippered hair when i pick up again i'm going to have my cut hair and my clippered hair and i'm going to blend it together Sorry about the focus and stuff. This is a webcam, so the movement is making it change the color saturation automatically and all that. And I don't know how to I don't know how to turn that off. That's why the color balance is weird and the focus changes every every little bit. I'm gonna go all the way back around to where I stopped, or a little past it, to make sure I didn't miss any little hairs. There it is. Okay. Now, now with Tommy, <laughs> here's another thing. He is graying or has grayed a lot. I'm, I'm whiting and have yes. whited a lot. But the problem, he still has color. And sometimes that can look like lines. Plus, this is wet hair. This isn't right here. It looks like I have a line going right there. Um... There's a couple of things you can do with it. <laughs> Make your husband holler, for one. I'm going to wet it. That's cold water. Oops. That water's cold. Come out of well. I, um, I'm going to wet it and calm it down just to see where Ugh. everything... <laughs> and he did that to himself, y'all. Just to uh, make sure it's all wet where it looks the same like that. Another thing you can do is use thinning shears another well that's not i mean i just want to be able to see it there you can also use thinning shears this is thinning shears that has the little where it don't cut every hair can y'all see that got teeth is it's got yeah it's got little teeth you can actually come in here and do it like this to make it blend better And I think that did the trick. I can still see, but I think it's... Uh, Mostly water. I think it's water, but also, you come back in and check. If you see a heavy line, come back in and check and look at your cut. I see a few little hairs sticking over here, so I can take those off, okay? I would suggest looking at it first, just to make sure you didn't miss a few places. And then, if it's not, then come through with the thinning shears with it. So, and in a couple of days, you won't be able to see it anyway, so, unless it's really bad. And I don't care today. You don't care. Yeah. But. Ice, ice, baby. Ooh. Now you see how his bangs are still longer? That's because I didn't follow the curve of his head down. And so, then I'm going to come in. Uh, Tommy's hair, like uh, Danny or Wanda said, that his hair is uh, coarse. Um, it is, and if I were to come across here and cut his bangs, it would they would just look like I had put the bowl on there and cut them. So this is the way I Wait, do Wait, I've got a trick to tell him, too. If your, wife, it's five minutes. if your wife refuses to cut your bangs as short as you want them, a trick is to, right before she starts cutting, do like this. He likes sharp bangs. Put your head. <laughs> anyway, this is what I do to cut Tommy's bangs. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. 
Um, let's do it I from can this do side. The, uh, let's do it from this side. Turn now. I think this will be I better. I can't see the camera, so you just gonna have to tell me. Just hold still. You're good. I put I hold his bangs like this, and then I cut them like this. I don't come in and cut them like this. I come in and cut them just like that. And uh, I do this on my bangs too. Um, my son-in-law doesn't like uh, Tomas's bangs that straight, straight across cut. And so this is how I cut Tomas's bangs too. So then when you comb them down, they're still straight across and everything, but it's not a real blunt cut. So. And I do that all the way. If we go over a minute or two, that's fine. I don't think anybody's on after us on anywhere that I know of, so. Anyway, you just keep going around and you may have a stray hair, just snip it off. You do sometimes. And this is really where I miss having a mirror, looking in a mirror, because it's so much easier to see the bangs. I'm sorry, I'm y'all not gonna be able to see this as good on this side. Um, that, I don't think that's helping, baby. Uh -oh. Whoa! Sorry about that, y'all. The camera just Sorry about that. fell. Just hold it right there, babe. That's good. This is where I really miss having the mirror because you can look in the mirror and really better see good. Which, Tommy does comb his bangs to the side, so it's not that big of a deal. But, you want it to be as straight as you can get it, so... Look at me. <laughs> Look like a little boy. I saw that it, had, it was sticking down a little bit right here. So I'm just cutting that a little bit more off of there. And see, I'm just cutting a little bit off. Just little by little. You don't have to do a lot at a time. Sometimes there'll be a few little longer hairs in there. You can just snip them off. Okay, I think we're done. Okay. Right, now I need to which step eyebrow? Up. Which eyebrow did I uh, do and the not left do? One. You did the left one. This the left one? Yeah. He gets a few little grandpa hairs in here. All right, so take my cape off right quick. He's gonna go outside and shake right quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and shake and then kind of dry my hair and you'll see sort of the finished product and it's what I like. He likes it short, so. Anyway, but that's our hair cutting deal. And, you know, like I said, I much prefer to do it outside because, you know, he didn't let this camera up in the air. And I don't know how to make it go down. So y'all just gonna have to, I mean, I know how to tilt it down like that. But anyway, um, so, you know, it's just not, uh, it's not that hard. I know it's apprehend. it makes you kind of apprehensive. Um, if you've never, you know, done it before or anything. And you know, when you go, when you go get your hair cut or your husband goes to get their hair cut, go with them and, and just observe and watch. And um, you know, you may, um, you may just learn something from that too. So, you know, that's, you know, and I always, I was always willing when people would come and get their hair cut, I would show them the little tricks on how to, um, how to, you know, upkeep your hair cut to make it last a little bit longer. You can I mean, see it, it's so white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the light's burning it out too. Huh. Sorry. Okay, I don't know You just have to trust I me, I like it. It's off my ears, it's nice and clean, it's easy, I ain't got to worry about styling, I don't need mousse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, except maybe chocolate mousse. <laughs> That'd be good, but uh, and the thing is... Ain't many things my wife can't do, y'all. So... Alright, Tim said nobody's on after us, so... Okay. We, we, we're not going to stay on much longer because... Oh, they started just, talking about love books. Some people... Hey, Michelle Groover right. on Facebook. That's Blue's tutor. Ah, Blue's cool. teacher. People talking about what? Uh, the love books. Uh, they have them in Virginia, Tim said. Really? 
Yeah. I didn't know they got up that far. They didn't used to be in Mississippi. My daddy remembered. And my dad's been gone since 2005. And they've been a lot worse here since 2005, which was the year Katrina happened. And, and the hurricane uh, really blew a lot more of them up this way. But they, they, they had been here, started showing up before 2005. But my dad remembered when driving back up here from, from Louisiana that about at the Mississippi State line was when they stopped. Mm -hmm. and, um, but no more. And again, they're not like the, the family who came up yesterday, the front ends of their cars were just black, mm -hmm. with, solid yeah. black with spattered love bugs. And if you look at people's cars around here, they're spotty. You know, you, you can see a hundred love bugs on the front of their car, but the people in Louisiana, they're just, I mean, there, there's places you can go out in the woods and start bush hogging and stuff, and you, you have to like do this to be able to breathe or you'll inhale love bugs. I mean, it's just like, I mean, it's like the book of Exodus looking mm -hmm. stuff, you know? But, um. Hope said that her mom's a master barber. I'm not a master barber, but I'm a barber, so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Big Bear said goose. I don't know why. Goose. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. And uh, Robin said deuce. Oh, Big Bear said he got him some fat pigs. He, uh, I chatted with him uh, text message today, and he said they're loving raw milk. For he's he, see, he's got that. He's working over at that dairy. Oh, oh and, my uh, gosh, yeah. I say raw milk. Uh, and a lot of people, Big Bear, will feed them on like nothing but whey. And mm -hmm. um, so they, he said they're fat and sassy. He's gonna send me some pictures and maybe uh, a little video of them. Yeah, it'll uh, make us jealous. I'm telling you, I believe pigs. Uh, hey, cousin Randy, I believe. <laughs> uh, I believe pigs love milk just about more than anything. And Scott Smith raised two hogs on nothing. He had a dairy, and he raised two hogs on mm -hmm. nothing but milk. And uh, they were huge. Jan said she calls uh, those to her style as piano keys. No piano key bangs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So anyway, my wife is talented, y'all. Hey, if you're not, if you're on Facebook. And you haven't uh, become friends with Alderman Farms, send it, go over there. Friends of Alderman Farms. Facebook.com slash groups slash Friends of Alderman Farms. And yes, Big Bay, Robin can do this. Absolutely. And, uh, and also, if you're interested in learning Spanish, go to Facebook.com slash groups slash Spanish Tommy to join our Learning Spanish Together with Tommy group. Um, oops, Big Bear, I can't oops. promise she won't cut your ear a couple of times. I've cut a few people. She's cut me. Mm -hmm. And if she gets to going too fast and them doggone clippers get dull, she, oh. she don't cut your hair. She just pulls it out. Yeah, yeah. That was my old clippers. These do better. Yeah, these, these hadn't done these that in a while. Yeah. So her That's old clippers were getting bad, ones. man. And they were, and you saw, you know, she was going real slow was. for the purposes of the camera and the demonstration. But when she's on her game, but it's zip, 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 zip. And when them clippers are bad, it's like, ah, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. They, they, they fuss so bad. I finally had to get some new ones. And um, let's see. Um, the bee lady asked, did I study somewhere? Yes, I went to the Baton Rouge Botech Barber School. Um, it was out close to the LSU campus, and that's where I graduated from. Vocational technical school, you yeah. know. And, um, so, and I transferred my license here when I moved here, and I actually had my own little beauty shop for a few years here. Um, we still have the beauty shop, but... Um, it's a storage building. It's a storage building. It's yeah. a junk room right now, but that's going to change. She so. tries to keep her license up year to year, though, just in case, you I, know. I've forgotten it. I, I know. Do it. We I'm forget every year. Pay. It's always We have to pay every year extra. Because she forgets and, and lets it. Uh... All right, so we're we're after time. Any more big yeah, questions? Yeah, um, I can't. Uh, All right, she's Glen Oak. Glen Oakla. Glen Oakla. Uh -huh. um, she asked asked about her thirty year old son is uh, kind of balding, oh. um, and and you know that's kind of tricky. Yeah, I would leave it on the long side, but you do it too long and it shows more too short it shows so you know there's a happy medium you gotta kind of have to play with depending on his hair too if it's a finer texture hair you know because sometimes a little shorter it makes it stand up you know it just depends it depends on the kind of hair um keepers at homestead said please share your tips for ladies Jan. cuts 
in, in, another, in another video. Okay. Um, almost, I cut my own hair. I just can't cut the bottom no more. So yeah, Colleen, I'll, I'll cut the bottom. You you told me you would never cut my hair No, again. I won't. I won't. Hey, I'll tell y'all that story. Look at a couple more, and while you're doing that, I almost forgot a couple of prayer requests. Uh, one of our viewers, one of our faithful, faithful viewers, uh, sent me a message on Facebook a little bit before showtime and uh, just has a, a really pressing prayer need. Um, she doesn't feel comfortable. She'd rather leave it as an unspoken thing. And you know what? That's fine because God knows exactly what it is. And uh, we would just ask that you would pray for, uh, pray for this need. I would ask you to be praying, to pray tonight and be praying tomorrow um, for a very specific need. Also, Mr. Rain from Rain Country Homestead, Patrick, uh, was injured here in the not too distant past. And I know that uh, Heidi yeah. had posted it had on her Facebook page about, you know, asking folks Please to pray. pray. And uh, there was an update. I saw an update this afternoon where Heidi said he was better. Oh, uh, she had been doing some herbal stuff and he was feeling better. And mm -hmm. Uh, she was thanking God for the herbs that he created, you know, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of good stuff out there That's in great. the in the greens of the world. And mm -hmm. so anyway, pray for Patrick, pray, pray for Mr. Rain. And I, she, I, I didn't see where she specified the injury. And I'm suspecting that it may be she may have kicked his butt uh, because I don't know if you knew this, but Heidi's like a umpteenth degree black belt in jujitsu ninja karate something i don't know she's a black belt in something she used to uh, teach it and uh, she's this tall huh. she's that. she's like 18 inches tall hmm. she's taller than that but she ain't much she's small there was a great picture of her with some of her former students and they happened to be like six seven. Oh gosh and so, so she she, look she looked like she was she looked 18 <laughs> inches tall she looked like she came up to their knees or something or to their waist but uh heidi and patrick are good people and uh I pray so pray for mr rain and also pray for that unspecified unspoken request and um we would appreciate it yes yes and uh have a good eclipse, Linda says. Yeah. Don't look at the eclipse, people. It will burn your eyes out of your head. It will burn your retina. Don't do it. Look at stuff on Facebook about it. People are going to go out and look at that. Look at that. What? Big Bear. What? Shame on you. <laughs> Big Bear said, Heidi's taller Shame than me. Shame on hey. you. Hey. That's funny, y'all. We already talked about that. I, I thought Big Bear was about four and a half feet high just from the way I looked at him. You know, look at him, people sitting in a chair. He's what, 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 Jason? Three inches taller than me? Something? And uh, I was surprised. But anyway, okay, we are 10 minutes over. Yeah. That's yep. crazy. <laughs> so. And Pia says she didn't mean to say love, but, but she meant love bugs. <laughs> oh, well, kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they're, uh, they're kind of, well, anyway. All right. So, whether you eat or drink or cut people's hair or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God because He's worthy of it. And He's so full of glory. And um, that verse is found in 1 Corinthians 10.31 if you want to read it in context. And we certainly miss the mark uh, all the time, but... We want to do that. We want to glorify God. We believe that one of the best ways we can do that is to be real, mm -hmm. is to just be who we are, let you see who we are. And uh, whether, you know, Monday through Saturday, same people as we are on Sunday, and uh, for better or for worse. And it's a whole lot easier to live that way, too, I found. If you don't have to remember how you acted in front of somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a whole lot easier to tell the truth all the time. Yeah. yeah. Because then you never have to remember what story you told yesterday. Uh, if it's the truth. So we're going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a little bit different. And uh, Patty might do this uh, for her next week. Maybe so. But I won't we'll be see. here. I need... You're not going to be here? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm not going to be here. Y'all see how long my hair is? I need a haircut so bad. So anyway. No, 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 no. Not by you. All well, right. Nobody's on. I just need to tell the story about my haircut you helped me with. Go ahead. 
They don't care. This we still got 66 I... people watching on 66 people All watching. Right. 14 on Facebook, 66, 65 on uh, on okay. uh, on YouTube. All right, All we'll right. hang out for here, just another minute. Yeah, here is my story um, about my haircut. I, I get wild hairs, and I did this Sunday. Wild when... hair, no pun intended. Oh yeah. Um, one Sunday morning before church, I was up early and I decided to cut my hair. And it was when they had come uh -huh. out with the inverted haircuts, you know, like really short, short and oh, like that. I do not and, like um, that. And I mean, but I wasn't doing my... Looks good on you though. He, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't care for that haircut. But I didn't want it real inverted. I just wanted it a little bit where I could kind of, where it kind of stack out. It, you know, I had short hair. And it was already shorter. Where it just kind of be real full and stack out in the back and everything. So I explained to him what to do and everything. And I told him, I said, you know, just have you an imaginary line. I think he even drew the line on my neck. He drew the line on my neck like this and he cut it for me. Bad and idea. And so just Bad right there. Idea. And so I cut around here and everything. So I blow dried it and everything and all. And I had to fix and fix and fix because I had an inverted haircut like this. <laughs> it was so bad. And he's like, don't ever ask me to do this again. It makes me a nervous wreck. He was telling me the whole time he's cutting my hair. Well, I told him after church, I said, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do it again because we got to fix this hair. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> but you can just trim the bottom now. She ain't never asked me to do it again. No, I haven't. I've taught Carly Ann how to do it. So, anyway, that's my hair cutting story. So, yeah. you might not want to teach your husbands how to cut hair. So. <laughs> All right. So. Night, Big Bear. Yep. Yeah, Take care of them night, cows. Everybody. and Send me some pictures of the pigs and stuff. Yeah, Tell them yeah. I said, hey. Thank y'all so much for tell being Pigeon, here. Tell Pigeon I said, hey. Yeah. Thank y'all for being here. We hope y'all have a great, blessed week. Yeah. And pray so. for people who are going to look at that thing tomorrow. I'm not looking at it. I'm going to sit on the deck and look at the shot. The shot. They said Don't the look colors at really changed neat and everything. Well, I have so. to drive up to uh, North Mississippi for a little bit tomorrow. Uh, I'll be north of here. And I'll be look. It'll be like 93%. There's a, if y'all didn't hear me say this earlier, I think it was on Vox.com. I shared it on my Facebook page. You type in your zip code and it would tell you what percent of the sun is going to be blocked and what the peak time is. And where I'm going to be, it's going to be like 93% blocked out. Here, I think it was like 82 or something like that. Hmm. But Trisha from Byron, they're going. Her and Richard, they're going. She said, Richard thinks we're going fishing. We're going solar eclipse looking they're going to the totality they're going up oh, to where really? it's 100 percent you know the path where the sun's going to be 100 percent blocked out wow all right we've That's been cool. saying good night a whole bunch of yeah, times yeah. so we're going to so say really good night again good night thank y'all good night everybody we appreciate y'all we'll see you next time if not before bye